Jason's Texas Adventures and I'm on the road headed back home from Lake Livingston State Park. Just thought I'd share this drive with you all. So yeah, it started to get a little noisy and a little crowded over there, so I figured it was time to head back home. The peace and the quiet was nice while it lasted though. Very beautiful over there. Lots of wildlife too. Just remember though, whenever you're camping, driving, or if you got plans to go anywhere, just remember not all that glitters is gold. There can be all kind of variables. It could be stormy, it could be crowded, it could be loud. And sometimes on these adventures, timing is everything. But anyhow, just enjoying this beautiful drive out here in the Lake Livingston area. And I enjoy these type of drives, these winding country back roads. I see some wildflowers up ahead on each side of the road. Some beautiful yellows. Yep, springtime has arrived. Springtime in Texas. You can also tell by the pollen on the hood of my truck. <laughs> yeah, it's just that beautiful time of the year. No wonder everybody's out and about enjoying the scenery, the wildlife, and the Texas State Parks. But yeah, I love this man. Just the sometimes it's not just the destination, it's the drive to get you there and back. I'm hoping to go and see the blue bonnets next week, but I'm not sure if the weather's going to hold up or not. So, I may have to put that off for a little while. I'm hoping to bring my mom along with me for the ride. And as far as the plan so far, other than that, I'm really going to be staying local, at least for the time being. I'll probably want to get out further west eventually later on this year. So, as far as going to the hill country and stuff, maybe in the fall, we'll see. I'm not going to guarantee anything though. <laughs> Sometimes plans change. If I see or do anything interesting, I'll definitely make a video of it and show you all. Whenever I get to the point that I can retire in the future, I definitely want to hit the road more often. I want to go, see, and do. I don't want to be stuck on the recliner watching TV for the rest of my life. Yeah, there's an entire world out there. But for now, I'm just enjoying the hand I'm dealt with right now and enjoying this scenery in the local area here. There's some more flowers off to the right. Beautiful. Must be coming into town now. The speed is reduced to 45 miles per hour. So I'm going to slow it down here. It 
sign says Long King Creek. Funny thing, when I was young, I used to annoy my parents. I would read off every sign, like all the way from Houston to Galveston. <laughs> it was just something I did. Bad habit of mine. There's just some cattle off to the right. Coming into the community of Goodrich, Texas. Population 248. So this is Goodrich, Texas. March 10th, 2024. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Texas 393 Loop South. Got some railroad tracks here. Bumpity bump. Take the next right onto Texas 393 Loop South. You got it. Will do. Going to get on 393 South. Continue for half a mile. So guys, we got a solar eclipse coming on April 8th. And I do have a plan, but will it work? <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, not all that glitters is gold, and if the weather holds up okay, I'm going to try to make a video of it for y'all. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a clear day on that day. But it is what it is. Some things are beyond our control. In a quarter mile, continue straight onto US 59 South. So getting ready to merge on 59 South, heading back home. Continue straight onto US 59 South. So I'm getting on this fast paced highway here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video Continue now. Got to be careful on these fast paced roads. So everybody take care. Thank you all for watching. And keep on riding the waves of life, no matter what. Don't let anything get you down. From the Lake Livingston area, enjoy your day, everybody. Thanks for watching.